Are students familiar with the operation and characteristic VI curve of a power diode? Hopefully after this tutorial video they will be. The diode is the simplest semiconductor switch. The two terminals are called anode and cathode. Diodes are manufactured in various packages, depending on their power. In the first quadrant of VI plane, the diode is forward biased and conducts on state. Depending on the value of the current IF, a very small voltage VF is developed across the diode terminals, known as the forward voltage. It's noted that threshold voltage is the minimum voltage across the diode in order to initiate conduction, about 0.7 volts at silicon diodes. In the third quadrant of VI plane, the diode is reverse biased. The reverse current is extremely low, typically few microamperes, and is called leakage current. If the instantaneous reverse voltage across the diode exceeds a maximum value, called the breakdown voltage, the diode can't support the applied voltage. In this case, the diode holds at its terminals the breakdown voltage and conducts a high reverse current, according to the formula. In practical circuits, the product of the breakdown voltage and the reverse current produces excessive power dissipation in the diode. As a result, the diode overheats and eventually breaks down. A diode can be checked using a multimeter in diode test mode. The multimeter applies a small DC voltage, typically 1.5 to 4 volts, to its probes through a resistor rated at about 2 kilo ohm. The instrument indicates the voltage across the probes on the display. The reading is OL, overload, when the voltage between the probes is equal to the open voltage. And approximately zero when the probes are shorted. By connecting the positive probe to the anode and the negative probe to the cathode, the diode is forward biased and the multimeter measures a voltage lower than the threshold value, because the test current is too low. On good silicon diodes the reading is about 0.6 volt. The reading remains OL when reverse biasing a healthy diode, positive probe on the cathode and negative probe on the anode. Using the multimeter's auto diode function, the forward bias and reverse bias tests are done simultaneously. You do not need to change the position of the probes. The diode should only be checked by the multimeter, taking them out of the circuit. In the part 1 of the video we learned about. 1. The main parameters of a power diode, threshold voltage, forward voltage, breakdown voltage, forward current and leakage current. 2. The static characteristic curve of a power diode that includes all the above parameters. 3. The method of checking the diode using a multimeter. 4. The diode turns on when forward biased and turns off when the forward current, not the supply voltage, goes to zero.